So um, this tape job, we're going to do the uh, Lodi tape job, um, and it's used to give support to the arch. And so uh, all things considered, you know, uh, foot position with the athlete, I, I don't have them jammed up to an extreme dorsiflexion nor extreme plantar flexion. I kind of like to get them in a nice little neutral position, tell them to hold the foot in that position. I will spray with tough skin on the medial side, uh, posterior, lateral side, even plantar part of the foot. So I'm going to spray all over, let that dry and get all nice and sticky and tacky. Um, a lot of times too, I put a, a band-aid back here because when we put some of the tape on, uh, sometimes it can be a little uncomfortable on the heel. Um, I'm not doing that in the video, but that's just kind of FYI. You can put a band-aid back there. Um, I use split tape to get this going and I set up my borders. And so I start um, uh, this border here and I start it, you know, right around the first metatarsal flangeal joint and I come medial and then I bring around to the other side and then I just go on the lateral side and I take that tape to the, um, uh, you know, fifth metatarsal flangeal joint region, okay? It's again, just setting up some boundaries. And then, um, then I do actually one other um, boundary strip right here. Uh, going over the uh, metatarsal flangeal heads or the met or excuse me the met heads the metatarsal uh, met heads so we've got um like number one here like and you can squeeze it and feel it so you got like one and then you got two and then you got three and then four and then pinch right there five and this kind of helps us out when we do the next strips of tape we do what's um referred i call them teardrops uh, other people call them other things, it's fine. But what we do is we um, do a teardrop and we alternate these. We use, um, uh, you know, met head, metatarsal head, five and one and four and two, and we leave three alone. So um, really no rhyme or reason to how you start this. So if I start on five, I'm gonna come around the, come around the heel, and then I come up through the arch to give some support that way. So start and stop in that same area. So that's on number five. Then I go ahead then and go to number one, come around that backside of the heel again, come out through the arch to give some lift and support to the arch and end it there. And then all we do is just repeat that process doing number four and number two. So here's number four coming up here. And you see how it's kind of giving lift to the arch. There you go. And then the last one, number two, coming around and coming back up, tearing it off. And so we've got this kind of, it's almost a weave too as well, if you kind of look at it, how we've done that. So that gives support. Um, the next thing is, and this is where, you know, some people vary their tape jobs here. Um, we're going to go ahead and give some other arch support lifting with tape starting on the lateral side of the foot and then coming up through the arch. And we're basically just going to go on our borders of our tape. So with this, I basically use, um, um, you know, regular inch and a half. And um, I kind of like find that area where the heels open right here. And I just start with my first strip and I'm going from one, you know, one side. So that border right on one side right here and then I'm bringing it around to that medial side so we're starting lateral and bring it medial and then I just tear it off and I just kind of pull it up through the arch and then all I do is just continue then to overlap and overlap members that turn that we use to um, go over half the distance of the previous strip of tape so um, and this will vary depending upon the individual and how big their foot is it might take three or four or five strips um, I continue to go all right, and you can leave the, you know, like I said, the metatarsal heads, that area, I mean, open, or if you do one there, this is where I kind of do a little, you know, I've seen people do this before. Um, sometimes the tape doesn't fit well down here, so I'll split the tape and just kind of overlap it a little like that, and then come over on the other side where I split, I split the tape, and then just kind of overlap it down so but now I've got these loose ends and I need to kind of clean that up so you can take in your tape here and you can actually run another strip of tape to hold those loose ends down I'm going from oops one side to the other side medial to lateral in that case I actually start medial and brought lateral you can start lateral to medial it doesn't make a difference you're just doing that to hold the tape down now 
Um, some people sometimes feel comfortable where, hey, we're, we're done here. Um, some people like to add a little bit more. So I've got a couple options. You can actually um, take some tape and go over the dorsum, the top of the foot to kind of hold things in place. If you do that, I generally don't go all the way around. I just do a few strips on top like this because when they step down, that tape will kind of, you know, it'll, it's gonna give with their foot too. And so this kind of creates that um, uh, um, kind of, it, it encloses everything, but it's not one entire strip. There are you know, strips here on top, dorsum, and then also on the um, bottom part, the plantar surface. And so there'll be a little more of a give. I've also done where I've done the exact same thing, but I've used uh, Coflex tape, which is our hybrid tape. And I've started that. And I've just now with that, because it gives, I actually just do a circumferential wrapping and, and close it up that way. So there are some alternatives to doing this. A lot of it really is dependent upon what types of supplies you have, okay? So that's my version of the Lodi um, arch tape job. And we use that for arch strains, sprains, um, and even we use it for individuals too when we did earlier like with the shin splints where we're kind of looking at if they have um, their flat footed for trying to give a little support to their arch. Okay, cool.